Hello everybody in YouTube land and welcome to episode 7 of Jazz Magicians. This potentially could be the final episode. I have lost on this scenario before when I played my first ever two-handed run, which was Preston and uh, Sister Mary. So it could happen again. It could happen again, but let's hope not. Let's see what our opening mulligans are. Actually, first let's read the... Uh, let's read this stuff. Your boat docks at the port to... French word... But with a rising tide and torrential rain flooding the street, the boat's captain is keen on sticking around. He tells you he will come back for you in the morning, but you tell him not to bother. You probably won't be around by then. As we can spend uh, player clues as a group, place one doom on this agenda. They can cause it to advance. And then dark clouds, swirl, yada, yada, yada. Bunch of stuff. I'm going to need another doom counter. Uh, I haven't played this one in forever, but I'm pretty sure if my brain remembers it, I can just choose which one to put on, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, this campaign is Path to Carcosa. Path to Carcosa. Nothing important. Nothing important. Okay, let's see our opening mulligans, shall we? So we really want to find, like, some healing and some damage for Dexter. That's a pretty start. That's a pretty good start. I'm not going to complain about this. Three, four, five. Oh, six cents is huge. Jim does not start with 10 money. Same with Dexter. Okay. So I'm pretty sure... We could run these two to start. But I also really want to hit our uh, Astronomical Atlas. So we're just going to go for it. This is a weird opening hand, chat. <laughs> this opening hand is a little bit strange, don't you think? Is it just me? Alright. Now let's look at this one. So we're going to keep one of the denies. We're going to keep the brand. Showmanship is really good. But it's not really good for our build. Because I'm not like a... Uh, I'm not the best at playing Dexter the Brinway. Uh, I actually, so we played poker at my bachelor party, and I won. This guy walked away with 80 bucks. He's the best. Alright, we can get rid of one of the denies. The sword cane's probably worth it, honestly. I think this hand is just going to be good enough. Spectral Razor is a nice little boon on top of that. Big dog in the house, yeah. They all just went, they went all in way too quick. They went all in way too quickly. I was patient. I folded every hand that sucked. I never fought unless I knew I was going to win. Except for one time, which I lost. But I only lost like 10 cents on that. Alright, should we do this? Let's play. So, I'm actually going to start with Dexter. One, two, three. We're going to play Brand of Cathuga and the Sword Cane. And then we're going to hippity hop up here. And if you succeed a skill test by one or less while investigating Grand Rue, place one doom on the agenda with the most doom. So this is remaining. No, I'm, count I'm counting up now. I'm counting up now. Uh, Jim's turn is also pretty easy. We're going to play Six Sense and Holy Rosary, and then we're going to investigate. We have four, uh, five, six, seven, so the game's three. Cool, we'll grab a clue. All right. Let's go upkeep, and hopefully we don't see a stubborn detective. What did I say? What did I say, game? What did I... What did I say? Alright. Let's go C. It's always C. Test foot 6. If you fail, read the top X cards from counter deck, where X is the amount you failed by. If at least one Biaki enemy is revealed by this effect, choose and draw one of them. If at least one Omen is revealed by this effect, take one Horror. Alright. So, we're going to test 2 to 6. This is not a great start. We're going to commit this because uh, we can't pass. <laughs> Why did I play this? I meant to play that. You know what? We'll just learn from our mistakes. We'll adapt and go like this. So, we're going to go 4 to 6. That's not great. We're just going to go like that. Sweet. We fail. 
We fail by one. So we fail by five. Minus one, so we fail by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So anything ordinary, out of the ordinary happy on this wedding? Yeah, it was a... Did James sing? James and uh, we sung uh, More Than a Feeling by Boston together. Okay, so we're taking a horror. Do we just, like, chuck this into that? Is my question. Because if we just chuck this into this, we go down to four horror. Like, maybe we just don't try to find the perfect one. And we just, like, let it happen. We just, like, take the healing where we can. Basically just nullify the, the, the horror on that card. No Biakis, though. But we just reveal those cards. Okay, so then these all go back in. It's reveal, not discard. Alright. And then over here, we got an Acolyte. Who can just hang out up here. It's not a problem. Alright. Well, Dexter's gonna go first. Dexter's gonna move down here. Dexter is going to Brand of Cathuga. Uh, we're going to Brand of Cathuga this guy, so we have seven to three. We're good. We'll spend two charges. Oh, sorry. I also wanted to commit this. It, it should have just been committed. Uh, we're going to go seven to... I was reading chat. They're talking about my wedding. This guy's dead. Okay. That's, that's all right. Um, I'm not going to draw a card, but I'm, I'm going to move back up here. Because I don't want to get our... Um, the cultist. The, the, the twilight acolyte. That was just added. Uh, Jim has a really easy turn. We're going to investigate 7 to 3. I'm going to grab a clue. We're going to move up here. We're going to investigate 7 to 1. Sweet. Okay. Upkeep. Let's go here. We got conviction, baby. But if you were the wedding photographer who broke the fifth wall and photographed your wedding, no, I, 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 I couldn't fathom that. I could not. I would that. I could not fathom that. A biaki. Okay. Another acolyte. Dex got. Dex has got his work cut out for him. Is what I'm learning today. So we have four of five. So we want one of those guys dead this turn. Alternatively, we could put doom on the other one. We can see how Dex's thing goes here. So you took selfies? I actually did not. I only pulled out my phone like once in the whole wedding to take a picture of my ring. That's it. I was pretty much just not in it at all. We're going to go 7 to 2. Nice. Let's go 1, 2, 3. This guy's dead. We're then going to move over here. Uh, and then we're going to try to whack this guy at 5 to 3 and hope it works. We'll go 6 to 3, though. Be the minus 3s that are in here. Nice. He is defeated. Good job, Dex. I don't know why I played. I was I was in autopilot reading chat. I, w I was... My head is not in this episode right now. Honestly, my head's not even in, like, real life right now. <laughs> it's strange to say, but it's true. All right, we're going to investigate. We have seven to one. Which seems like a pretty good number. It is. Uh, then we're going to move over here for action number two. I'll discard this holy rosary. And then action number three... I'll play this Holy Rosary. That's a bit unfortunate. I always forget about this. I, like, this scenario is just not in my brain. Let's go upkeep. Upkeep. Oh, Divination is an absolutely fantastic draw. Conviction, baby. Four of five. Evil card over here. 
Test foot three, if you fail, well, we're going to take a damage. All right, we're testing two to three. There's a skull. So if agenda 1A is in play, which is the case, we're going to take a damage and lose an action. Over here, we got Spires of Carcosa. The final boss of Mystics in this scenario, which is finally enough because they show up on the, uh, on the first scenario. <laughs> okay. Alright, Dex is going to move up here. I think the Doom's just going to go next turn. I think that's just the reality of the situation. Uh, and then we're going to brand a Cthulhu, so we're going to have 7-3 to three here. That is a minus 3. So we can spend a charge and kill this guy. All right. So Jim's going to move over here. Uh, and then we're going to investigate. I'm going to commit this uh, guts to this, I think. I just want to replace it. And we also get... Um, it has four icons, so our number is really high here. So much to the point, I'm not even doing math. We'll draw a card. Hey, my trumpet. That I'm, I'm, pl I'm actually going to play my trumpet this time. We're going we're gonna to do it. We're playing that for sure. We have the Sixth Sense, so we can wait on the Divination. But I think for my last action, we're just going to investigate. We have 7 to 3. 7 to 4, sorry. 7 to 4. I'm going to treat that as a Skull Token. So because it's a Skull Token, I'm going to grab a clue from here. And then also my location. Which seems pretty okay. Dexter, yeah, Dexter does is going to appreciate the Trumpet. He's gonna he's gonna love that shit. Like it's his it's his his own Molly Maxwell. Shriveling's a huge draw. Final Rhapsody is a okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's about on par with most final rhapsodies you ever see in this game. <laughs> you usually take one damage. Sometimes you take two. On a bad day, you take three. All right, let's advance this. And then that also kills the spire. Sure, you can go in there. Alright. As a vortex grows in size and force, so too does its pull on reality. Debris and rubble start to float upwards, pulled into the terrible void. A thunderous crash shakes the island to its very core. Soon the whole city will be destroyed by the maelstrom. Shelf the encounter discard pile, both set aside copies of Rift Seeker. Uh, give me the Rifts Seeker. He seeks the Rifts. Into the deck. Excuse me. We're going to mark a Conviction. Okay. So now we can start putting some stuff there if we want it. Each monster enemy gets plus one fight. The whirlwind over the island continues to rage. Blinding flashes of lightning and deafening thunder assault your senses. Is the Vortex above the key... It's opening the path. If so, you have no choice but to beckon the entity closer. Alright, what do we got over here? Test book four. If you fail, you must either place one doom on the current agenda or take one horror for each point you fail by. This is Path to Carcosa. So we're going to go two to four, and we're going to get a plus two. We're going to get the Elder Sign, and we're going to pick up our Brand of Cthulga. Alright, we fail. I'll place a doom on this agenda. Ooh, that's not great. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. So we're going to test two to six. Oh, only three cards. Only have to reveal three. Two, three. So we have an omen and a biaki. We have two omens and a biaki. Ay, caramba. Now, at least we get a perfect usage on our... Um, Let's take a horror. We get a perfect usage on our... Actually, we're going to mark the horror on us because we do want to play our trumpet this turn. 
Okay. This is a little bit unfortunate. Because we don't have any cultists in our discard pile, so that means we have to discard an asset we control. Which is, as I said, a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so I think we want to just clear off this brand of Kathuga. So we're going to move in here. Uh, and then we're going to attack this guy. We have 7 to 2. Dex, you take a damage. We're gonna, sorry, uh, uh, Jimmy, take a damage. And we're going to go again 7 to 2. Nice. This guy's dead. Jim. Play the trumpet. Toot toot. Then we're going to move up here and then we're going to investigate. We have 7 to 4. Oh, the Jim. So if you miss the brand, you still deal the damage. That's what I've uh, I've read online because it's still just a fight action. It's like how you investigate with deciphered reality and it's still just an investigate action. So a fight action still if you miss, it still just deals one damage, right? Because you only spend the charges on if you succeed. So if you fail, in theory, it's still just a, a fight action, right? Alright. Uh, I'm going to heal you up a bit. And by you, I mean you. This one at least, like, this This ruling actually makes sense to me, though. Like, I, I'm... This one doesn't make me angry so like some other one does. This one, this one actually, I was like, oh yeah, that, that totally checks out. That totally checks out. Okay. Well, let's go upkeep. Let's go upkeep. And let's get ready to discard, uh... Uh, let's get ready to discard some assets we control. Ooh. You're not an asset we control. But I don't really want you to show up again. But I could put you here the second time. If I grab this. This is mine. Are we okay with you showing up again? Is my question. Well, let's see what we got over here. Oh, Biaki. <laughs> Not the best draw. Not the best draw. You know what? I think we put this guy actually, like, here. But I don't think we can kill him this turn. Okay. I think Dex is going to move up here. And then we're going to play a Shriveling, I think. And then we're also going to Spectral Rape. Man, this would be so much better if this wasn't this Sword Cane and I actually played the Showmanship like I wanted to. Uh, so we have 8 to 2. 8 to 2. This guy's dead. Alright, so Dex doesn't want to go in here this turn. This guy should have a Doom on him as well. I think we just drop the Divination, right? It's kind of a poopy turn, but it's still alright. Let's go upkeep. Let's go upkeep. Three and five. 
card over here. Ancient Evils. I'm going to put it on this one if that's okay with everybody here. <laughs> I'm going to just put it on that one. I think I'm just going to do that instead of advancing this Doom. That seems like a pretty good choice, doesn't it, chat? That's bad. This guy doesn't have Hunter. That's good. Because <laughs> we could try to just evade him. It's not a sure thing because of the... Uh, some of the stuff we have going on here. But it's probably better if Jim goes first. Because we could just try to evade this guy. Yeah, well, we'll try Promising a Power. I don't think I'm ever going to play the Showmanship, so we're just going to make sure this happens. Because if we could just ignore this guy, that would be huge. That would be absolutely ginormous. So, we have two, six. Did I add my curse token? I did. So, we have two, six, seven, eight to two. Eight to two. If you know their token. That's a skull! That's some healing, baby! Jim. Alright, uh, action number two. We're going to quickly just draw a card. And then we're going to move in here. And I think we're going to have to discard an asset we control. It's just a question of which asset. Um, I think it's just the Holy Rosary, right? I think it's just the Holy Rosary. All right. So I think what we want to do over here is Dex, is we want to obviously get out of here. We want to move into this location. We are going to have to discard an asset. We also really want to kill this cultist. So I think we just move in here. We're going to discard the sword cane, because I, I really want to bounce the Brandicathuga. If I can bounce the Brandicathuga, it's a good day. And also sword cane really just shouldn't be in the deck at this point in the campaign anymore. Uh, and then we're going to attempt to zap the man. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine to four. <gasps> we bounce the brand of Kathaga. Draw a card. And draw, and then we draw a card off of this. We do take uh, a horror. No, but then we can also... The trumpet's already down. Um, this guy's going to be dead. And then we have um, this. We have more convictions, so we're going to be testing 5 to 2. We're going to take 2 damage. Hmm. Okay, I think with our last action... Play Brandon Kathaka. <laughs> that is funny. If you're engaged with a non elite, with all the weird Arkham wording, I have I said the text box to slip into Latin. If you're engaged with a non elite enemy, ergo ipso facto quid pro quo. That's that's a very funny joke. All right. I would love to get the Earthly Serenities that are in our deck. Because we're kind of looking not... Like, Dex is looking not great on damage. I think the Horror is pretty managed at this point. But we're going to go here. Four of five. This man stands up. Evil card over here is none other than an Ancient Evils, which I'm just going to throw over here if that's okay with everybody. And then over here we got Test Brain 3. 
We have Agenda 2C, so it's going to be two horror and discard two cards from your hand. Um, we're going to defy this. So we have five to three, and we're going to say no to... I don't even know what we have in here. Cultists. Let's say no to cultists. Sweet. Okay. So we have to spend, what, six clues to get in here? I can spend six clues to get in there. I think we want Dexter to go first. So Dexter's going to move in here. We'll spend six of our clues. We're going to keep two of them. The rest can go in the fabled, fabled garbage can. And then uh, we'll reveal this. So two agendas are in play with different agenda numbers. It gets plus two shroud when it's revealed. Put the set aside. Chor Gothic Knights Hall Cloister. Capital of St. Albert and Abbey Tower locations into play. Okay. So Abbey Tower is up here. Which is connected to T. Which is the Chor Gothic. Which is connected to square. So that are these guys. And this one's also connected to star. Which is just uh, this one. Okay. So then we can go like that. Alright. And then we have the chapel. Which is going to be connected to here and then we have this one which connects like that and then okay yeah 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 give me that 45 degrees chat okay i think what we're then going to do is dex is we're just going to quickly hop over here what is it we cannot enter this. We found the guide if we have found the tower key. So we're going to hop over here. So if you succeeded, remember that you have found... Okay, no clues. Easy. Uh, Dex has one action left. We are going to play some Liquid Courage. Okay. I'm going to hippity hop over here as Jim, and we're going to investigate... Huh. Dexter could have stayed here. I mean, I think I'm going to do the Sixth Sense just because... Huh. Yeah, we're just going to do the Sixth Sense. Because we already revealed another location. So we have six to five. You know what? We're going to move over here, and then we're going to investigate with the Sixth Sense. So we're going to go 6 to 2. That seems better, doesn't it? It does. Alright. Let's go upkeep. That's a great draw. Alright, let's tick this one over, I think. Shovel the title, encounter, discard pile, and both copies of Title Terror. Look at them, they're so spooky. Agenda 1C is not the current agenda. It is not. Alrighty, Rue. Each copy of Ancient Evils gains Surge. Alright, what do we got over here? Place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in place, search and counter deck and discard power for a cultist enemy and draw it. I'm going to just grab one of you, small little men, and I'm going to put you, I think... Here? Yes. Now over here, the Man of Pal Mask is in play. He attacks each investigator. If not, we're going to search him and grab him. Grab the man! There you are. What's this Julie sent me?
That's so funny. Uh, for other small investigators. I'm going to just wager that's down here. <laughs> I'm just going to wager that's the entrance. Congratulations, buddy. It's yours. All right. Okay. Hmm. So I think we could have Jim go first. I think we investigate here. We have six to two. We'll reveal another token. Holy cow. Grab a clue here, and we'll grab a clue here. And then I'm just going to move in here, and then I'm going to investigate at 6 to 3, because my they have the same agenda number now. So we're just going to go 6 to 3. Excuse me? You're not allowed to do that to me? Alright, Dex. Dex is going to do this. We're going to have 5 to 3. Three to three. We fail. We're gonna fail. Alright, no. Yeah, we'll go five to three again. We'll try to remember that we found a guide eventually. Yeah, Dex found a guide. <clears throat> I think what we want to do next then for our last action, instead of just moving down here and taking needless damage, we're gonna play the Arcane Initiate and we're gonna bring in with two horror. We put her into our deck as horror as horror soak, but she's just ending up being a beautiful amount of Beautiful amount of this. Okay, let's go upkeep. That's a great draw. And we're going to go four of six. Four of six. Evil card over here. Crashing floods. That's not great. I think we're just going to take a horror and cancel that. So this guy can spawn... Chapel of St. Albert or here. Let's put him there. That seems like a good place to put it. That guy's a big boy. He's a big boy, for sure. Okay. So I think this turn we want to find out if we're on the right path or not. I think that's what we want to do. We're doing pretty good for time as well. We're doing pretty all right. But we're going to start with a div divination and we're going to commit this perception to it. So we have three, four, five, six, seven to the game's three. Honestly, I'm just going to run it. I'm just going to run. If we fail, I am going to look what I found. But we didn't. I'll draw a card. That deduction is huge. Nice. Alright, we're then going to move down here. No, it's up. <laughs> it's all the way up there. Okay. But we could get some juicy victory here. Don't, don't you think we could maybe get some juicy victory up here? That's great too because we're working on this one. Which means we can, um, we're going to be able to take advantage of that. Because we're going to have a lot of time on this one when it comes. Yeah, we're going to divination and we're going to commit this deduction. But I'm putting it up here because you guys all know I'm paranoid. So we have three, four, five, six. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight to two. Let's just go for that. Nice. I'll spend three charges. Three. So we're going to grab four clues. Four, 
We'll draw a card. Okay. Dex is going to move down here to the Knight's Hall. There's no clues. Investigate using foot instead of book. If you succeed, remember that you've found the tower key. That's going to be a tough test to pass. Looking for you. Do we have two of these that are... No, one's still a level lower. Alright, we're going to brand a thug of this guy. We have seven to three. Keyboard's lagging a bit. Alright, we have seven to three. Minus three. We're good. We'll spend a charge and kill this man. We have one action left. And I think we're just going to move here in anticipation of potentially helping uh, Jim if he needs it. Upkeep. Upkeep. We're going to go four of six. Trumpet! Great call. Completely forgot about that. Drop that there. Oh, no, uh, sorry. From this connect location, it'll be me. It's just any test, so it has to be this guy. Boom. Stand back up, brother. All right, we're at four of six. Evil card over here is an Ancient Evils. This is going to gain Surge. And I think we just let it ride, right? Yeah. And that's going to Surge into... Test book four, if you fail, must place one Doom in the current agenda, or take one Horror for each point you fail by. Okay. This can cause it to advance? Yes, okay. So we're testing two to four. Give me an Elder Sign, baby. Nah. Could be a connecting location too. Jim, uh, so uh, Dexter was not at a connecting location when he revealed the skull. Right? Because Dexter was here. When he revealed the skull token. But I moved here for my last action. Um, yeah, I'm going to place a Doom on this agenda. That's basically, the other one's the dumping grounds. Yeah, I don't think I want to do this. I don't think I want to spawn an enemy when we can just try to get ahead. Okay. Test passing this foot test is going to be a little bit tricky. I guess we just got to do it with Jim, right? We just got to hope we hit a skull. All right, we're going to investigate um, with Divination. We have five to two. Look what I found. And then we're going to move over here. All right, Dex is going to move in here. We're going to do this. You're not a spell. Uh, and then I think he's going to drink some liquid courage, is what I'm thinking. So we're going to go heal the horror. And then we're going to go five to two. I'm okay with, like, losing any of these cards. So it's totally fine. Okay. This guy continues to come for us. We're going to have to deal with him next turn, probably. Upkeep. Ritual Candles. Upkeep. Astronomical Atlas is really nice. It's really nice. That can potentially be very good here. I think we're going to do this one. Where the remainder of this agenda deck from the game replace the set aside Act 3C card. Open the path above. Okay. 
Clouds churn over the Abbey Tower. Layers of reality unfold. Just a normal Tuesday. Uh, through the dark storm clouds, you can see the twisted spires of Carcosa. You have no choice but to make the leap. If each of the investigators the Abbey Tower and there are no clues on that location, we advance. I'm going to just bring my camera down a little bit. It's a little bit hot right now. And I'm not saying that because I'm on it. Just a little bit bright. Perfect. Okay. What do we got over here? Spawn of Holly! Test Brain 3, if you fail, Act 3C, 3 Horror, and discard 3 cards from my hand. Alright, we're gonna go f 6 to 3. We're good. Okay. Well, Dex, you ready to kill some things? Because you're gonna have to kill some things. I mean, we can see how Jim's goes, turn goes, because we could just, like, potentially do some good stuff with this sword cane. We might not have to kill him, depending on how Jim's thing goes. I think with Jim, we're going to uh, Divination, and we're going to go 6 to the game's 2. That's a skull. Yeah, they're scary cards, aren't they? Uh, we're going to spend these. Okay, I think we hole up for an attack. Realistically. Alright, so I think here's the line. Action number two. We, do we drop down Astronomical Atlas. We get the uh, Promise of Power on top of our deck. It's a deduction. Still good. And then we're going to try this. We're going to investigate. We're at two to, z two to two. Jim, everyone believes in you. Jim, everyone believes in you! That's actually huge. Yeah, the Jiminine is happening. Okay, so I think we're going to just hunker down and we're going to have to fight these two enemies. I think that's just the reality of the situation. Like, if things go well, we could try to evade this guy, right? Our explosive clue power is mostly gone. We do have to read the signs, which are, like, good. But the thing is, if we draw, if we draw more enemies, we're going to be in a little bit of a pickle. And there's a lot of enemies left in the deck. There's a lot of power left in the deck. We have a lot of time, so we can, like, take slow turns. So I think what we're going to do... Is I think we're going to start with a shriveling, I think. Actually, we're going to start with this. And I think... Hmm. Alright, we'll brand a Cthulhu. So we have 7 to 4. Minus 1. Let's drop 3 damage on this guy. And then let's uh, go again. 7 to 4. We'll spend 1 charge and kill this guy. What do we do for our last action? I think I'm going to drop this Abyssal Tome. Okay. This guy's going to move here. So let's hope we don't see a, uh, a bunch. That's a huge draw. That is absolutely uh, huge. Oh, that guy had five attack, didn't he? Uh, we had minus one each time, so we're okay. But this guy also has five attack, just so we can be aware of that. 
Test brain two. If you fail, it gets uh, it's direct and you get plus two difficulty. So we're testing five to four. I believe with the power of minus one, we're going to be a okay. A gulp? During the also try to grab a spell. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. You. Oh, did they lose a bonus? You're a hero. You're a hero. So that guy, we, we it, no matter what, nothing changed. It was fine either way. After attacks, you must either place place one doom on each gen and play and take two horror parlay discard rift seeker. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I think what we do. Okay. I think we might do the parlay here. I think we might just kill this guy with that action. I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. Okay. So let's let Dexter go first, because I think Dexter is actually going to kind of determine the pace of this turn. So Dexter's going to move in here. Dexter is going to discard, I'm going to say, you. To play this for one. And then we're going to attempt to evade this guy at 5 to 2. And I'm going to go 6, 7 to 2. Because if we can get ahead of this guy, that's going to be really nice. Yeah, I'll return this fucking Brandicathugga to my hand. I don't know if I shuffled. Alright, this guy's evaded. And then we're going to move up here. Okay. So Jim is going to parlay. This guy is going to take two horror. We're going to place a doom on the current agenda. We're at three of six. But this guy will then discard it. And then we're just going to move two. We're going to come up here. We're going to try to go for, uh, for, go for it right away. No go upkeep. Priest of Two Faiths, huge draw. Promise of Power, also fantastic. It's a good day for everybody. We're going to go four of six. And we got Worlds Merge! Take three horror and discard three cards from your hand. Well, let's hope for the best. We're going five to three. Reveal another token. We fail. So, I'm going to... Heal three horror. And then we discard three cards from our hand. Are they at random? No. So we can go like one, two, Sorry, I was just getting wedding final wedding stuff. Okay. That's so funny. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, I've just got one more card. Honestly, I don't think we need this Earthly Serenity. I think it's just going to be too slow. And we just healed three horrors, so it's a good day for everybody. Another Rift Seeker. Well, let's look at this. Fearless. Sounds good. So we just have to be here and have there be no clues, right? Tau and there are no clues left on that location. Alright, well, we're going to parlay. We're going to take two horror. Place a doom on this. Uh, 
Uh, and then we're going to move in here. Because we have found the tower key. You can only just have clues if you have no cards in your hand. Okay. Okay. And there are four clues. Okay. Uh, Dex has one action left. He's going to drink some liquor. No. We're actually going to play this Priest of Two Faiths. And let's add some Bless tokens in here. Alright. Jim is going to move in here for action number one. Action number two, we're going to discard three cards from our hand. The be Some would say the strongest action you can take in Arkham Horror the card game. Uh, and then we're going to investigate with this six, this read the signs. And we're going to commit this, and then also this deduction to that. So we have a big number. I'm going to just see what we draw. How does that sound? Our number is definitely bigger than that. So we're going to grab two clues from the read the signs. And we're going to get one clue from the deduction. This thing comes in our hand. Okay. Can you just read the signs and ignore that text? Oh, yeah, probably, actually. Any effect or keyword that would trigger... I think it's a... That's a great question. I actually don't know. No, not a trigger. That's what I thought, too, because it's not, it's not an effect or a keyword. It doesn't trigger. It's just a passive effect. Good thing we asked. Upkeep. That's a huge draw. Upkeep. That's a draw. This advances. Spawn the set aside. Beast of Aldebron enemy here. Let's go. I'm ready for a boss fight. Uh, Ashley is dead. We burnt her alive. And we have back to Agenda 3A. Each copy of Ancient Evils gains Surge. What are we starting with? Oh, I have to add a curse. Worlds merge. That's not great. I'm going to commit this because I'm probably not going to play you. So we're going to go 6 to 3 and hope for the best. I'm going to commit this to go 7 to 3 and hope for the best. Beat a better chunk of the tokens that way. Reveal another token. Minus 0. We're okay. Let's heal some horror off of Jim. I don't know if we're going to be able to... We could probably get enough damage on this guy. Ancient Evils. It's going to have Surge. And that surges into... Crashing Floods. Ooh! That's not great. I'm going to commit this Black Cat to this. So we're going to go... 4 to 3... If we fail, we're going to lose all of our actions. We fail. We lose all of our actions. And we take three damage. We might die. So let's just see what this is. Oh, he's still here. Wow. Jim basically just lost two turns there. Yeah, that's rough. We could we actually could very much lose this right now. Okay. Well, anyways, I started blasting. We're going to go 7 to 3 with the shriveling. 5 to 3. Yep, he'll take 2 damage. We're going to go again. 7 to 3. Black Cat gets discarded. He is discarded. Go 7 to 3. Uh, yeah. I forget. Does, does Dex's ability provoke attacks of opportunity? To answer that question it's easier, without having to think, and I'm just going to play it here then. Discard this, because then I can put the damage on the, this guy if it does. 
That does not. All right, the Priest of Two Faiths is going then. All right, and then we're going to attack this guy. We have seven to three. Nice. We'll spend one, two, three charges. You know what? No, no. We actually do discard this. We do discard this. Three charges to kill this guy. All right. This guy's going to move in here. Hello, sir. He is going to kill this man. And we're going to go upkeep. That's a big draw. That's actually, like, bigger than Jesus. That draw was so important. This can kill the Dex. This can kill the Dexter Drake. We're testing two to three. We just, we have to get a plus one. Let's see. What do we got here? Research librarian. Yeah, if Dex dies, we're in a bit of a pickle. Here, take this research librarian. We're three all. No, no, no. Take the black cat, because then you're up one. And then the skulls still cause you to fail. No, I think we get, we keep the black cat for ourselves and we give you the research librarian. No, three, three. No, we do the research librarian because, so we do the black cat because then minus ones are also okay. We gotta get really lucky on this pull. Is it a level zero award? Yes, it is. If I also commit this... If we commit this, Jim is without protection. If we do commit it, Dex can walk away. You can't commit two cards. Yeah, because we can still evade the guy. You can commit two cards if you use something like an at Atlas or Practice Makes Perfect. Yeah, I think we just have to hope the, for the best. Minus one. Minus five. All right, Dex is dead. We might die here, chat. This actually might be it. Okay. That's our evil card. That's fine. Fucker, just go, like, right here. Okay. So we have to attempt to evade this guy. Because we can't uh, provoke an attack of opportunity, or we will die. So we have fortitude. <laughs> oh, we brinned it, baby! Alright, we're gonna go two to two. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna go two to two. That's it. That's over. We lose. Campaign done, chat. Campaign done. That's unfortunate. We, we, we did, like, Jim was doing so good, too. It was that one flood. It was that one crashing flood that took away all of his actions. What a sad day for the Jazz Magicians. What a sad day for the Jazz Magicians. In retrospect, what we could have done differently, um, even though I think I did, I did agree with my decision at the time, was not getting rid of those Biaki cards, right? Probably put on Extra Doom, maybe not the best. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. I mean, I still think, I still think fa failing these still kind of put us... I do think, though, what we should have done 
what probably would have led to more victory was if we just um uh kept our water protections only for those as opposed to like stopping a biaki when they showed up i think that probably would have been the best way of walking away with a victory but honestly like we were there we like if dex if like on the last turn if jim just had one action left we could have easily gone in the last clue right and actually got it that's so funny this gym deck was pretty all right though this uh, like this gym did a lot this gym did a lot for uh for uh having a uh, very little because you know he's jim he's jim culver but you know that's the end of the jazz magicians Huge thank you to everyone who watched and to all of our patrons for watching at home. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching the channel. If you want to support the channel beyond just YouTube, you can uh, follow our Patreon, become a patron. $3 a month is our lowest level. You get access to all of our posts there and other good, fun times. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.